A healthy heart works continuously to pump blood around the body by beating regularly under the control of electrical impulses that originate from the sinoatrial or SA node, the heart's natural pacemaker. These impulses radiate from the top to the bottom of the heart in a coordinated way. Each heartbeat consists of two stages where blood enters the atria, which subsequently contract, and forces blood into the ventricles. These in turn also contract, forcing blood out of the heart into the pulmonary and systemic circulations. In atrial fibrillation, electrical impulses do not originate in the sinoatrial or SA node, but from a different part of the atrium or in the nearby pulmonary veins. These abnormal electrical signals become rapid and disorganized, radiating through the atrial walls in an uncoordinated manner. This can cause the walls of the atria to fibrillate or quiver rapidly rather than contracting normally. Electrical signals are transmitted irregularly from the atria to the ventricles, which both fail to contract in a synchronized way. During atrial fibrillation, because the atria do not contract regularly, blood does not empty efficiently into the ventricles and begins to pool in the atria, especially in the atrial appendages. This pooling of blood can cause clots to form, which, if dislodged, can travel in the bloodstream towards the brain. The clot, or embolus, can potentially obstruct narrow blood vessels, often the middle cerebral artery or its branches, and prevent the normal flow of blood. The reduced supply of blood and oxygen to a particular part of the brain can result in tissue death, leading to ischemic stroke. 